Hello everyone, this is Mahima here to explain my second experiment in Case Tools Lab. In this experiment, I have drawn a class diagram for the application Hospital Management System. So, um, first of all, in a class diagram, we have objects called as classes, and each class has a class name, attributes, and uh, certain functionalities. So, over here, I have taken all of these as my classes, and uh, for each class, I have provided the attributes and the functionalities. So, um, first of all, uh, let me start with doctor class. I have the attributes as name, age and specialization and then uh, these functionalities. Then I have for the patient and um, the attributes and the functionalities. I have my reception class, bank account class, nurse class, hospital itself as a class. And uh, within doctor, I have uh, two subclasses that is interns and full time. So, um, over here, as you can see, I have given a different kind of link for uh, each of the classes. So, um, let me explain them one by one. First of all, this link is called as generalization. This is used to link the subclasses with the base class. So, over here, as interns and full-time are the subclasses, I have linked them with the doctor class. After that, uh, as you can see over here, I have an association over here and uh, I have given a label. This is named as a label. This uh, we can use for uh, the user friendliness in it which means uh, the programmer or the user who is looking at the diagram would be able to easily understand what it is about. After that, uh, over here as you can see, this symbol signifies that uh, this can, um, that uh, this class can have more, when this, whereas this class can have one, which means one patient can consult multiple doctors. That's what it means. Then over here, I have given the link as assists. Then uh, between patient and the bank account, I have given that one patient can uh, can have more than one account and uh, he uses the account to pay. After that, uh, over here, I have given a link between the hospital and the bank where uh, the transaction would take place. And uh, that is how the patient would pay the money using his bank account and how it will reach the hospital. Over here, um, then I have given this link this is called as uh, an aggregation. Aggregation means that the particular class or uh, the particular object can exist without the base or the base class. So over here, this means that a doctor can even exist independently without the dependency of uh, a hospital. Uh, whereas in this case, I have given a composition. Composition means that uh, the particular class cannot exist without the base class. So, uh, as you can see, I have given it between the nurse and the hospital, which means the nurse cannot exist without the hospital. And then again, I have given um, this property. This is called as multiplicity, where we provide the exact number or the approximate number. So, over here, one hospital consists of one or more doc uh, nurses. And in the same way, one hospital can consist of one or more doctors. And the doctor works for the hospital and the nurse works in the hospital. So that's all for my experiment. Thank you for watching.